مسلم وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعلى الصدقين الشريفين Eric converted 14 years ago without telling his mum. When he broke the news, Mary Ann, like many of the convert's parents, found it impossible to accept. When he told us that he was a Muslim, it was the most disheartening news that Bill and I had ever received from our son. He could, I think he could have told me anything but that. <laughs> I've often wondered if I could, if I'd feel the same way if he told me he was gay, you know, if it would have been as devastating. Because we had never even heard of Muslims. Yeah, that's my little boy. Here he is in the fifth grade. Oh, he had the prettiest blue eyes. And there's his senior picture. I always thought that was a good one of him. I did the perm. He's going to come back to the Christian faith, believing in Jesus Christ as his personal Savior, and I think once he does, he's going to be a dynamic preacher. Very, very dynamic. And I believe that. She's a wonderful woman. I, uh, I love her. And maybe someday she'll uh, uh, embrace Islam and be happy for all of us. Do you see that happening? Actually, I think there's a much greater chance of that happening than me becoming a Baptist minister. Yasmin used to be Mindy. Raised by strict Southern Baptist parents, five years ago she decided to swap her business suit for a burqa. My life didn't have any meaning, and I just couldn't figure out what my purpose was. When I found Islam, I realized that the purpose of everyone is to worship Allah. After converting, Yasmin arranged herself a husband, and they now have three kids. She's so devoted to Islam, she follows the Quran to the letter, a guiding force in difficult times. I think that Islam is offering a new way of life to many people in America and I think that it has the solution to a lot of prevailing evils in society. I mean, you know, there's a rape every minute, drug abuse, very high divorce rates, adultery, fornication. All of these things are very destructive to the moral fiber of any society. Sisters, sisters, I have an announcement. Sister Marguerite, Sister Marguerite wants to take the Shahada. Oh, what? Allah. Please, Allah Akbar. Let's, make, let's make a circle. She's Masha ready to accept the plan. The, sisters, there's a, uh, there's, a, there's a lady here. She's going to make Shahada. Allah Akbar. Talk beer. Talk beer. Okay, Sisters come on. Marguerite. Go ahead and take it. We'll join the salon. There's no God but Allah. Every time somebody embraces Islam, subhanAllah, it just always reminds me of when I took the shahada myself. And it's just very um, emotional for most people. And I'm just happy and I hope that Allah guides her to the straight path and gives her the knowledge of this gain and success in this life and the next life.